Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I am going to tell you about how to insert a value in the database by using Python. So for that, we need to create one form which has an option called name, then mobile number, username, password. So we need to fill up that form. So for that form, we, we should have a QT designer software. If you don't have, just download it. So now I am going to create a design for that form. So I click on the main window and then I click on the create button. So now I am going to create that design. So I have one label and here I write name. Okay, then here I write username and then I write password and here I write mobile number. So let me change the font of these labels. So I click on the properties and then I go to the font option. Okay. So I click on the bold and I change the size to 10. Like, like this I do for username, password and mobile number. Okay guys, so now I need to drop four line edit buttons, sorry widgets. So I choose line edit and I drop here. Right, then I need to drop one button. So I choose button and I drop here. Right. Now I change the name. So I write here sign up. So now I am going to tell you how to insert the value by using database. So first of all, we need to convert this design into the PY code. So I save this file and right here YouTube six sorry. Okay. So now I am going to open CMD. So I write here python m pyqt5 dot uic dot pyuic here I write x then I write a uh, file name so my file name is youtube 6 dot ui then I write o and here I write youtube dot py right see the file has been converted so now I am going to open that file
see this is the code so here what I am going to do I am going to insert the value so for that I import the module py my sql and see here see the ids see, sorry see the object name of line edit and button for this object name is line edit for this line edit 2 for this 3 for this 4 and for sign up button the object name is push button right so what i am going to do first of all i write here self dot push button dot click then i write here connect and here i write one function called self dot sign up which i will create later okay so here i i need to define that function so i write def sign up and here i write mm, name is equal to self dot line edit dot test because name of the person is in test right and i write here username is equal to self dot line edit 2 because the object name of username field is line edit 2 right and i write here text like this i write here password is equal to self dot line edit 3 dot text and here i write mobile number mobile is equal to self dot line edit 4 dot txt right guys so now i am going to connect this uh, this form with database so i write here con dot con is equal to py my sql dot connect and here i write host is equal to local host and my user name is root so i write here root then i write password is equal to blank and here I write the database. So DB is equal to my database will be YouTube. Right. So for that I open the workbench. And here I going to create a database. So I write here create database YouTube See the database YouTube has been created Okay So So here I write So now I am going to create a cursor object so I write cui is equal to c double c o double n dot cursor and here I write a query query is equal to I write uh, insert into table name my table my, my table name will be sign up sign up and here I pass the values so first of all we need to create a table so I write here create 
table then I write table name YouTube dot table name is sign up and here I pass the parameters so I pass name is wildcat then I, I, I write an username wildcat then then I write here password wildcat and here I write mobile number mobile I write here number numeric ok and I pass here 10 let me run this code sorry query so my table has been created of name sign up so I write here name then I write username here I write password and then I write mobile right guys and here I write values and I pass percent x percent s percent s percent s four per percent s okay because we have four parameters here so I write four percent s here right guys so now I am going to execute my query. So I write here data is equal to I write cur dot execute and here I pass query and then I pass the tuples of name username password and mobile right guys so now I am going to check so I write if data then I am going to call the function message message box right guys so now I am going to create a function message box so for that I write here def and here I write message box I pass here self from a title from a message ok now I am going to create an object for message so I write here suppose I write here message and here I write mess is equal to beauty widgets dot view message box then I am going to write mess dot set text okay guys so here I need to write title so I write here congress and then I pass the message here so I write here you are successfully successfully signed up right so let me run this code I write here my name Sagar, then I write name Sagar, username, then I write password, suppose this is my password, and then I write mobile number. This is my mobile number. When I click on the sign up button, see, when I click on the sign up button, my window 
has been not working so python has stopped working so i have a problem in my code so let me check sorry i write here mess so we need to write here message instead of mess right guys Suppose I write here saga, then I write saga twenty two one two. Then I write the password like this. Then I write a mobile number like this. Okay. See one thing here, our password should be hidden, but it is showing the password. So we need to hide our password. So when when I click on the sign up button. A new message will pop up. You are successfully signed up. Okay. So for hiding the password, we write the code. So I write here. Self dot line edit four dot set eco mode. And here I pass qt widgets dot Q edit, sorry, Q line edit, and then I write here password. Right? Let me run this code again. Suppose I write here Ram, and I write here username called Ram twenty two one two, and here I write the mobile number, sorry, password. Wait for a second. Sorry, we uh, we have to write this code here, right? Let me run this code again. So suppose I write here Ravi. And here I write Ravi. Here I write Ravi twenty two one two. And here I add a password. Suppose this. And I write here mobile number. When I click on the sign up button, a new message will pop up. You are successfully signed up. So thank you guys. This is a beauty.